Okay, today I'm going to start a alcohol ink on glass project. I am going to use HTV rounds, <clears throat> metallic alcohol ink sets. I'm going to pick a couple of these golds. Um, I'm going to go with the yellow gold, the royal gold, and I think the one called... Hmm. Whoops. The warm brown gold. So I'm going to go with those three. And I think I'm going to pull from... Um, I'm going to see if there's even one in here. I'm going to use the yellow from this other box of HTV Ron regular alcohol inks I have. This one has a couple metallics in it too, but. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that yellow also. Um, these come with little opener thingies. Although I think I already used this one, so it should be open. But you just slip that on the cap and pop it open. These are really handy to have. It's a lot easier than trying to line a needle up in it, in my opinion. So, and these are metallics, so the, um, they do settle the metallic powder, whatever, that separates from the ink you can see. So these you do need to shake up extremely well. So I'm working on a Dollar Tree picture frame. Um, you can paint the edges of these if you want. This one I'm not going to paint. So I'm just going to take it out of the holder. Or out of the frame holder. Oh my god. I'm shaking the inks with one hand while I'm doing this. So I'm going to keep the cardboard backing. This piece I'm going to get rid of. And the paper I'm going to get rid of. I just want the glass. So... I am going to wipe the glass down. Uh, I'm just going to wipe it down with some Windex, whatever. Sorry, you can hear my machine cutting in the background. I'm going to get these shaken up all the way. I have HTV round cutting. Um, my image right now. I found really cute little like advice from a bee saying on Cricut Design Space already so I decided to go with that. So I'm cutting that in black and yellow. This is HTV Ront's permanent adhesive. Um, I'll show you the box it came in. This came with 12 five foot rolls in a rainbow of colors plus gray, white, black, silver, and gold. So this was a great little set. Um, I will get the links to everything down below. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I have my blower from Tim Holtz handy. And I don't want like a ton of the yellow because I'm going to put the yellow um, vinyl over it. These don't have BBs in them. That is the one thing that I wish they did have that they are lacking. So. Because the BBs would make it, and I do want to put little cups under here. Um, just so I can raise it up off of the mat. And it'll make it a little easier to see what's going on. Um. BBs would make it a little easier to shake, but it's not the end of the world. I already used that one. I don't remember which one I did and didn't use. I think the black and the yellow stand out on this. So I'm going to put just a couple of drops of isopropyl on here, 
that'll help it move. And I'm just going to start moving it around. If it starts to dry too quick, and I should be wearing gloves. Um, <laughs> if it starts to dry too quick, add more ink, add more alcohol. It'll reactivate it on the glass somewhat. But I kind of want it to end up looking like a shimmery honey color for this B one. But I'm going to go switch my cutting mats. I'm going to let this dry. I think I'm done playing with it. And I will be back in a minute. So this is one half of the image. It cut beautifully. I am going to go ahead and get this weeded. Um, so I don't want to start from the middle somewhere. I was going to show you a piece, but some of this is negative. Some of it's positive. So... I don't dare because like this will come out and this will stay but the letters come out but sometimes I have to look back at the um, computer itself to see what goes and what stays so I don't want to screw it up but and I'm not going to make you watch me beat this because these are pretty intense files I do want to rip this though You can see that it does weed nicely. Um, so I'm going to get this all weeded. This is still drying under here. So I'm going to have to work on my other table. But we'll be back when I when this is fully dry and I have the entire file weeded. Okay, I am all weeded. So we are going to get the glass cleaned up again. And get this cute little decal on there. This one's going to be super fun to line up. But it says, advice from a honeybee. Create a buzz. Work together. Sip life's sweet moments. Stick close to your honey. Mind your own beeswax. Always find your way home and be yourself. With the little bee and the little honey dipper. So, cute. I may put the black on and like piece the yellow in since it's so um but this is dry since it's so detailed so i'm going to flip this over i'm going to clean this up with some alcohol try not to get it back to the other side though but you do want to get any extra ink that bled over the edge off and make sure you have a clean surface for your vinyl to adhere to Now, you know what? I'm going to roll the dice and I'm going to layer it on the mat. Um, HTV Runt did send me a 50-foot roll of their 6-inch tape, but I'm going to just use my standard stuff because I want to be able to move this in one piece without having to layer the tape because it's such a detailed cut. So... For this one, because I'm layering very detailed, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one.
So this is why I was going to do this in pieces. Not too shabby, hopefully. Okay, so that was a little bit ridiculous, um, but I got there, holy, so this is the back side, this is going to be the side the vinyl goes on, and that better come back off of this a whole lot easier. I'm actually going to... I think I'm going to put this in the frame first because I don't know what kind of clearance I left around the edge. And I don't want it to be completely wonky off center. So. At this point, you can burnish it as much as you want. And get your transfer tape pulled. I thought that piece might have been upside down before, and now I really think it's upside down, so not terribly concerned. And this was that piece that I grabbed out of nowhere to try and just fill in, but I think that's also upside down. And it may actually be the piece that came out of there, I'm not sure. But it'll do. I'll do that a lot. Sometimes as I'm weeding, if I've missed a piece, I'll just like <laughs> grab a random piece that looks close enough. Oh, that's so cute. Totally worth the effort. And uh, I realize that my silver frame is not the best choice at this point, but um, oh, I'm not sealing this yet. Duh. I'm going to get a white piece of paper and I'll be right back. So I've got a white piece of paper and I'm just going to trim it to fit. I'm not getting out my paper cutter for this. I'm just going to use my blade since it's sitting right here handy. And I'm 
because this one I want the pop of white behind it. Not the uh, wall color. This piece of cardboard in this one's not the greatest. So if you need to like double up or add some more chipboard or something, you can. There. See how that white behind it just brightens it up a lot. But this one, your vinyl is on the front, so you can wipe it down to clean it, but, um, you know, be careful. Don't soak it, soak it. But isn't that cute as a button? So, I have another one that I think says advice from the ocean that I'm going to get to here shortly, but I wanted to do this one first because I thought the colors would be fun, and they are. Hopefully you can see that amazing shimmer from the metallics under there. So that is it for this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.